am just working, just like trying to get um some more t hours in for my shifts, and then I just, while I'm working, I see on my phone that Natara is back, and then Megan Fox is also playing her. So you can imagine how annoyed I was that I was not able to make this video earlier, as well as it was boiling hot. Yeah, in my area. I, I It's still high, and I refuse to, like, go outside because of how hot it is. Oh, my goodness. So, I am just want... I need to get this trailer out and put my thoughts on this. Because, oh, my gosh. I like how they started off from, like, the lit equation. I am Megan Fox, and I'm voicing Natara. She comes from this weird realm. She is a type yeah. of vampire creature. She's evil, but she's also good. She's trying to save her people. But I really like her. Yeah, that was her whole story, um, from what I remember. That was definitely, of course, her story from, like, the previous games. And I'm glad they are keeping that because, like, you did not even see that with, like, 2021. They just made her, like, a generic um, ally for Shang Tsung. And I guess his mistress i think that's what it was in the movie i really do not remember i did that just did her so dirty it was insane she's a vampire which obviously <laughs> resonates for whatever reason from what i know uh she did also play a vampire a while back i don't remember the like i guess it was like jen or something but i'll talk about that more later it's cool to be in again. the game you know because but yeah also her model looks so good i know I, the only thing i'd say like missing of course is like the eye patch but i'd say that they did well with like the red hair the demon wings and of course like the whole battle suit so i'm not really just voicing it it'll be like she's kind of me also we have this rivalry again of course finally i'll steal detusha and kill you with it you are welcome to try <laughs> Already it sounds, of course, good. You outworlders believe yourself so superior. As I've been doing the sessions, it does force okay, yes. me to, like, tap yes. into areas of myself that I'm not comfortable. Okay, so... I can see why Scott... Okay, I don't even know how I'm gonna even censor that for what after I edit this. What? Hold on. How am I supposed to censor that? Like tap into areas okay, of right. myself. So I've been doing the sessions. It the aerial combat for her, I think that's probably going to be a lot better just because of the fact that she could fly. But look does at that. force me to like tap into areas of myself that I'm not comfortable. <laughs> that I feel like that. I think I remember seeing that from like Scarlet, so that's also why I guess why Scarlet didn't come back because like her of her blood ability, so they won't be needing Scarlet because we already have Natara, so that I understand. <laughs> getting a dive kick first of zero gets a dive kick then sindel gets a dive kick and now natar gets a dive kick why is everyone getting a dive kick now if i liked it when kung lao just had it but i guess everyone just gets their own dive kick now <laughs> they just give it out like it's candy <laughs> oh she gets it in the air <laughs> Of fun doing it and it's caused me to like be more free with myself <laughs> what did you do with jen's body poor kung lao you will never see her again so from what i've heard from discussions it's a it's a two it's referencing two things that the jen thing i mentioned from earlier but also Mortal Kombat Conquest. So if you don't know, there was like in this one show that lasted like one season. It was called Mortal Kombat Con Conquest, that which the main character was Kung Lao and um, one of his allies, of course, was Jen. I really need to watch. I, I feel like watching this show. It's like a bit odd, but it still has some of the characters you probably know from like MK1 through MK4. But I know the main focus, of course, is Kung Lao in that one. But I, I it is on Max, but I. I think I'll give it another shot. I only watched like one or two episodes.
Mortal Kombat. It's just one of those staples. It's been around since gaming has been around. Another look at the uh, Wuxi Academy at night. <laughs> It's just like an opportunity that anybody would want because we did all grow up playing the game and it is one of the greatest video games of all time. carnage thing where he just like screams it it made me think of that for some reason oh, wait is that it but I, I guess that's the blood they were talking about but yeah that was i'd say even though it was like one character i they had a lot to show off for her i, I they at least try to like keep it minimum because like it was only one character and like for like most of the characters they've shown off it's always been like two one or two characters or yeah two or three characters in each of like the uh trailers but i they definitely wanted to give her more focus from how it looked which is good because like i think i was curious on how they were going to handle it because when you also look at this this combat pack right here i'm curious on how they're going to like handle showcasing all six of these guys for each of these trailers so that that's going to be interesting to see but yeah a lot of her flight moves have me intrigued because before i can't remember i would i need to ask someone who played injustice one i really can't remember how hawk girl played so i think it's going to it does force me to like tap into areas of myself yeah hawk girl could fly and then uh i remember yeah blue Bee also had like a flight move where he could stay in the air as well as sindel had that i'm not comfortable <laughs> I really don't know who I play. I get like all these 3D era characters now, and now I don't even know who to play with at this point. It's insane. I don't. What am I supposed to do? So, yeah, the only characters they haven't shown off are Reiko, Shang Tsung, and then the mystery character who I guess is going to be Kronika. But uh, for Reiko. I guess he'll either be shown off. I think he'll probably be shown off with Shang Tsung. It'll either be he's shown off with Shang Tsung, or they got a famous actor to play alongside him. Which I'm curious if they did. Did they get a character to play with Reiko? Because I don't even. I'm not sure anyone said anything about his voice, but I'm curious if they actually did get like an actor to play him. So it will be interesting. Let me know what you how you'll think. Reiko's going to be showing off and what you think of Megan Fox as Natara because I do think though this is like a bigger step up from how they did with like a lot of other voice actors they've got or other actors they've gotten to like play characters because it's to me it's like similar to like how they got Kerry Hiroki it's on that level of when they got Kerry Hiroki to play Shang Tsung than it is for when they got like Ronda Rousey to play Sonya Blade I feel like this one's a bit more interesting because just because uh, Megan Fox has a lot more experience for acting than with Rhonda did so I definitely think she's gonna have like a great performance as Natara as we get to see her in this game but also one week away we are one week away from the new era so let me know what you're thinking of this roster and what's gonna be happening in the future so thank y'all for watching and I shall see y'all soon